Let's briefly go over the seven insights. The first one is to use AI accelerators. Use computers that are good at machine learning. The second one is that speed and accuracy is a fundamental trade-off. You can have a lot faster algorithm or you can have a lot uh, more accurate algorithm. What we really want is an algorithm that's both fast and accurate, and that's pretty hard. Another lesson is that uh, we just need more memory. The computers that we're building right now to train uh, deep neural networks frequently run out of memory. And the reason why we can't train a much bigger model or a much more powerful uh, algorithm is because we don't have enough memory. So let's build computers with more memory. A fourth lesson that we learned is that we should train in mixed precision. We don't need really high precision like we do in scientific computing. We don't need 64-bit or 128-bit or arbitrary precision floating point. Uh, to do uh, to train deep neural networks. Use 16-bit or less. Uh, a fifth lesson that we learned uh, is uh, something about the I.O. requirements uh, of training deep neural networks. These things are super compute intensive, um, but as we have really fast computers, we need to be able to feed them with data. How much data do we need? Let's talk about that. The sixth lesson we learned is uh, what infrastructure is reusable? Um, in software engineering, we learn to build uh, libraries and frameworks that can be used to solve multiple problems. How many times does sorting appear? How, much, how many times does search appear um, across many different applications and many different domains? But what about machine learning? Where are the reusable pieces of infrastructure we can use to build on top of what we've already built and not start from scratch? And the final lesson is something about general AI or general intelligence. And what are the computational requirements of achieving it? Um, spoiler alert, they're really high.